You are entering a location next to a designated zone across the street from an area called Time, Space, and Alternate Reality. You may find yourself asking questions like, where did he acquire such a cool power-up? How do I get to that secret bonus level? And when will they release a new nifty hat for me? There are many of these questions, and we will do our best to answer as many of them as we can, as Aperture Gaming is proud to present the DLC Zone. Greetings fellow test subjects. Test subject 1337 here for Aperture Gaming. They make it, we test it, you play it. And welcome to the DLC Zone. Alright, it's been a little... Alright, so in uh, September we had two Batman DLCs. So naturally they, and with this being October, and the month of Halloween, they decided to make us wait. So now we have the DLC Zone is proud to present uh, some Batman DLC. And before I go any further, uh, this is being filmed after the 28th of October. So they said by now uh, that uh, the PC version of Batman Arkham Knight is up and running. So to you PC players, welcome back. I hope you guys get to enjoy Gotham and Arkham Knight as much as the rest of us have. I'm sorry that this uh, took so long for, to reach you guys. I hope they got all the patches and issue. They got everything patched up and all the issues ironed out. So I hope you enjoy the game. I am covering uh, the DLC for the PS4 today. So without further ado, let us talk about the two DLCs. They actually released two. First up, uh, not that much of a big deal. They just basically released a uh, skinning and coating of paint for the Batmobile. It's the 1970s edition. So, yeah, it just gives a different coat of paint. And not that big a deal, so... I don't know, I, don't, I guess 5 out of 10? Yeah. But now let's talk about the DLC that everyone wants to talk about. Look, I got, got, I got nothing against the 1970s or the 1970 skin pack that they did, so I'm just saying, yeah, I can understand why they released this at the same time with the other one. Kind of uh, more for that. Uh, so the other one, the much long-awaited 1966 pack. Now, if you recall earlier, you actually could do like a paint job for the current Batmobile, so it had like the paint job of the 1966 Adam West Batmobile. Well now, Holy Retro Batman! In all of its glory, you can actually drive the Adam West 1966 Batmobile. -na 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 it's pretty awesome. Especially how they offer two different tracks. And as per usual, each one comes with a one-lap function and a three-lap function. And it's pretty funny because, like, you're on the set of a. Uh, it's on the set, and each one is each course is inspired from the 1966 uh, Adam West Batman thing. It's really great, like. If you picked up the DVD collection that recently came out, or if you were alive in 66 and actually were able to see the show and enjoy it, or if you saw the reruns they had a couple of years ago, <laughs> it's, it's really funny because, yeah, visually it does look like that. You have all these cameras following the Batmobile. It's kind of funny seeing as how they released the Adam West uh, Batman skin long before this DLC came out. Now, also along with uh, the Batmobile, and the Batmobile sets, they actually release uh, Burt Ward as a... Uh, they have a Burt Ward Robin skin that you can put on Robin. And I'll be honest, the instant I got this DLC, I skinned up Robin, I skinned up Adam West Batman, and I did the AR challenge where you uh, do the co-op fight with both of them. <laughs> Classic good old days. I still think what would make this really awesome is if they included, like, a pow or a wham or a zuck sound effect... Uh, uh, onomatopoeia cloud burst thing whenever you punched a bad guy. It would have been funny. It would have been perfect like that. But I'll take what it is. It's very awesome. Now, uh, they also released uh, a Catwoman skin. She, uh, yeah, so there were three actresses who portrayed uh, Catwoman in the 66 uh, series. Uh, so for the skin, it's not Eartha Kitt. No, so I was looking at this, uh, so I looked up uh, the three Catwoman the three cat women who, uh, on the show. So I'm like, okay, it's either her or it's her. I can't tell. It's a little hard to tell. In fact, I even spoke with someone who, uh, saw the series and they're like, okay, out of the two actresses, it's either her or her. And she could, she couldn't tell the difference either. 
I think the whole point of that was because since both actresses were very similar looking at that period of time to be the role of Catwoman, I think that was uh, the point. So yes, she does look like a... Let's see, oh man, I can't think of the names off the top of my head right now. I'll, I'll list the names over here. They'll probably float over here to the side right now of uh, which actress it potentially could be. I, I didn't see if the name of who it was was listed on there, but yeah, so it is Catwoman from 66, it's just not Eartha Kitt. Alright, so while I gave the Batmobile 1970s edition a 5 out of 10, so for this one, okay, so we get two skins for characters. They don't really do anything, but uh, we get the Batmobile, the actual 66 Batmobile. And of course, it, now, it doesn't have like the battle tank mode like we've seen for the regular Batmobile in the game. And like the 88, 1989 one, I'm okay with this. It makes sense. It was it designed to be a tank, it was designed to be a car. I can completely understand, so I'm okay with this. Still hoping and waiting, still waiting and hoping that they're uh, going to make tank mode for the Tumblr that came out in the previous edition. So I'm alright with it not being tank mode, I'm okay with that. And we also got uh, <laughs> some retro, campy Batman 1966 uh, themed courses, and I really like that. So, I'm going to do things a little differently. On a scale of... Uh, for the scale for uh, this DLC, I give it a 1966 out of 2000. <laughs> okay, honestly, yeah, so I either give it... So take it as you may, it's either a 9.6 or 9.7 out of 10. Round up math. Uh, greetings fellow test subjects, uh, like the video just said, sorry, but uh, I was filming this and there were some tech issues uh, near the end, so now I have to reshoot the last scene. But anyway, you got the general idea. I give like 5 points just for the repaint job of the Batmobile, and I give a 9.6 or a 9.7 out of 10 for the 1966 uh, stuff. We got two tracks, uh, a new Batmobile, and some retro skinning for two characters. Overall, I think it was very good. So, yeah. Sorry for the technical issues, but hey, it's uh, almost Halloween, so crazy stuff is going on. And this has been Test Subject 1337 saying thank you for watching, game on, and this has been the DLC Zone, where the unexpected happens on a regular basis. Have a nice day.